A while ago I was asked how quickly I could explain what all the controls on the organ do. I thought about that and I'm not going to try and do it as quickly as possible, but this is a quick run through of what most of them do. While an organ might have a keyboard that looks like a piano, it doesn't work in the same way. A piano has mechanical linkages that actually make real sounds, whereas an organ keyboard has a bunch of electronic switches that do nothing other than make clicky noises unless you use something else that's connected to them to generate sounds. A pipe organ can use mechanical linkages between keyboard and pipes, that's called a tracker organ, or the electric ones or electronic ones will use wiring between the keyboard and all sorts of sound generators, some that might be air driven, some that might be electronic. On my organ there's only a single switch under each key and when you press it it sends signals to um, a very early sort of computerized system. This one's mostly analog but with computer control. A uh, Hammond would have had um, about nine contacts under each key and there'd be one contact for every drawbar so every drawbar is individually switched on and off. This organ just uses a single wire system, or single switch system I should say, and when you press a key, it sends a signal to a variety of things depending on how you've chosen, or how you've selected your settings. Um, on this organ there's a central do flicky here, which allows you to select which group of tone generators to control. So if I go for the upper tab voices, that means that all of these ones here, the upper tabs, are used for the upper manual. Um, if I pick an 8 foot flute, that's the same pitch as the piano, in other words, middle C, here's the key, there's the lock near the middle, middle C on the low keyboard, middle C on the upper keyboard, that's the same pitch as the piano, not the same tone, the same pitch. Now there's a bunch of other flutes up here and they're all marked in feet and the numbers actually refer to um, pipe organs. If you had a rank of pipes that could generate sound on the keyboard you'd measure the length of the longest pipe and that's how you'd name them. Um, for flutes, for some voices the actual numbers are a lie. Um, instead of measuring the length of the flute, length of the pipe you just rate it as the same pitch as the flute. So if it has the same pitch as an 8 foot flute and it's an oboe, you call it an 8 foot oboe regardless of what the actual length is. Um, I don't know which pipes in particular work, do that technique but that's how it works. Just so the organist knows that everything that has an 8 on it is piano pitch. Now below that we have a 16 foot, that's an octave down. So if I play the same key again with both of them on I get two pitches at the same time, which is the same as doing eight foot with middle C and eight foot below, almost. They don't have exactly the same tomba, tamba, timber, whichever one you like to call it, but the pitches are the same. Um, four foot flute is an octave above, so if I turn that one on, hit middle C again, two notes are playing. This time it's the same as middle C plus an octave above. Now, if I have a real pipe organ, an 8 foot flute might sound nice. On an electric organ, 8 foot flutes are kind of a bit not very impressive, and so you tend to have combinations of pipes in use. So if we put a 16 and a 4 on, start to get what you think of as an organ tone. Unfortunately a lot of electronic organs grumble and make horrible distortions down the bass end of the keyboard. That doesn't sound very musical. Neither does that. But if we go up an octave, they sound, tend to sound more musical. And we can do that because as soon as I turn on that eight foot flute, I'm playing something lower down at the same time as something higher up and if I was to play piano pitch up here at just eight foot flutes it sounds very um, 
in and sound a bit like um, a street organ. But if I put a few more on, so 16, 8 and 4. Sounds more like an organ, sounds more like an instrument. We have a bunch of other flutes up there. Um, and every time they half, you know, 8 foot, 2 foot, 1 foot, it's an octave above. So if I just go back to 8 foot again, add a 4, swap to 8 and 2, swap to 8 and 1, Those ones are kind of obvious, um, and basically you can put them all on and get a very solid sort of sound. We also have ones with fractions on them. Now these ones are more interesting. They're um, a fifth rather than an octave. So if I put an eight and five and one third foot, which won't sound very nice, I'll get this which is the same as playing C and G. If I do eight with a two and two thirds, that's the same as C, oh, and I can't reach it with one hand, but C and G an octave above, um, which sounds a strange thing to do, but playing with fifths and roots together does make nice sounds. If I put on a couple. Those, if I was to do the same thing with out using the fifth pipes, different effect whatsoever. So it gives you a pitch in between the other ones that actually sounds nice in most situations. Sometimes it doesn't, especially if you're playing complex chords. You could put them all on, but that tends to sort of not. Doesn't sound too brilliant. Unless you're trying to do that full organ effect. It's generally better with some off, some on, and various combinations. We also have over here some what are called percussive tones. I just turn off most of the flutes and put on one of them. play them just by themselves. It's a pop that dies away with either a long or a short, which gives interesting percussive effects. There's also a click effect that gives you that sort of grotty switch that the Hammonds used to have. So if I put someone on like that, and it's, it only works when you sort of play percussively. If you go chord change, firing off but not the actual tones and there's a little loudness switch too for that so that can be a bit stronger now next to the flutes we have some so-called instrumental voices brass oboe string and string again um, there's the eight foot and four foot eight foot 16 foot the idea being that all eight foot somethings have the same pitch helps you to work out what combinations you want to use and gives you a ballpark idea about which ones will work together off the without trying them all out straight away they're not really true instruments if I put on brass 16 foot I don't know any instrument that sounds like that the oboe is sort of close but not really very reedy, very thin and reedy. Doesn't have the tone I quite expect. Let's put on a string eight foot. Four foot's just a pitch octave high. Put them both on together. They don't really sound like strings and oboes and brass, 
pipe organs have the same thing. They have pipes that are named string and horn and whatever. They don't actually sound like a genuine instrument, but they're somewhat reminiscent of it. So when you're deciding what registrations to use on your organ, you've got something to go for. Um, modern electronic organs have a different set of tones generators that actually do emulate the instrument but there's a lot of instruments you can't play the same on a keyboard I mean a stringed instrument, instrument that you bow but played on the keyboard doesn't really work in the same way you don't get the same attack and decay some of them have effects that you can add that sort of stuff but then you don't have the same way of controlling it um, so you can't really get the same effect and while we're still playing with the upper keyboard um, there are some effects that can be added to those so if I put on 16, 8 and 4 again at the moment it sounds a continuous tone. Um, now this organ has a simulated vibrato, vibrato which is a bit icky, but it make it a heavier one. Sounds too much like pitch bending rather than vibrato. And there's a delay, so that means it, it won't start straight away. If I pick something else that might show it off. So if I keep play legato style, it might kick in. If I play staccato style. in. Um, unfortunately I can't adjust the delay on this, it's just preset. Next to that we have tremolo and chorus which is emulating a Leslie. A uh, Leslie has spinning speakers, this doesn't, it just modulates the sound between sets of speakers spaced around the cabinet. So if I put on chorus that's the sound of a slow rotor if I flick on the, les, the speed switch to tremolo, we get the um, tremolo effect. And this organ's, I think, trying to simulate somewhere between a Leslie and a pipe organ tremolo. They're both very different. Well, actually, all three are very different from each other. Now, on this organ, it only had a speed switch up there, which is hard to get to while you're playing. So I've added one... Um, a kick switch next to the expression pedal so I can do this. Changing speed by, without lifting a hand off the keyboard. Next to them are the Celeste effects and they do a bizarre phasing detuning sound. Um, best way to do it is just demonstrate it is to actually demonstrate it. I don't, know how well, I don't know how well that will come up on the camera because it's not really a proper stereo recording and you can't hear how it reflects the sound between things around the room but it sounds like um, a detuned version coming back in to on top of an in-tune version but not properly. On, on a pipe organ, a Celeste pipe are uh, two, ra two ranks of pipes. One slightly out of tune with each other so that you get that wavering effect. Um, you get the same effect with a 12 string guitar. You tune one set of strings in normally and the, the paired strings in slightly off so you get um, that uh, wavering effect between it. The only way I can demonstrate that properly on here is with the pedals because seems like the pedal generator is not synced to the other keyboard so if I do a turn that off that's uh, that's unmodulated on the pedal on the keyboard um, that's one of the pedals and if I play the two together slight variation but not much it depends on just luck of the draw how it turns out if I try G instead now 
Now that's those Celeste effects can be applied to a few different things. The tab voices I've been talking about already on the upper keyboard and the lower keyboard which has tab voices but not as many to choose from. And then the same Celeste effects can go to some instrument voices, um, percussive instruments, some allegedly traditional instruments but are very much synthesizer sounds and some very very cheesy synthesizer sounds. I'll go through them later. If I look at the lower keyboard, the voices for that it has less. And now an electronic organ um, it tends to be that the lower manual is not really used in the same way as the upper manual. Um, you tend to play melody on the upper keyboard with your right hand and either chords with your left hand on the lower keyboard or, or accompaniment or counter melody if you're good enough. Um, on a traditional organ you'd use both keyboards completely independently from each other. You could play everything on the lower keyboard and then for certain passages of the song you could switch to playing on the upper keyboard and use different instruments and all you have to do is change which keyboards you played on rather than fiddle the switches. Um, that doesn't really work too well on the electronic organ because, well, there aren't that many octaves on each keyboard and you get that horrible distorting sound when you try and play lots of chords lower down. Same on the lower keyboard. And you get a, a similar sort of thing happen if you try and play chords with the one hand on the lower keyboard at the same time as melody with the other hand on the same keyboard. You'll notice that the chords over there are much louder than the melody over here. Uh, a lot of electronic organs are not voiced very well. Whereas you go to a pipe organ, they're voiced so that the actual amplitude of the voices across the whole length of the keyboard sound good against each other. Um, a lot of organs you know, are loud at one end and the other and nothing that I can do about that because it's not able to be readjusted. If I had a synthesized pipe organ you could adjust all that. They would they have allow you to revoice the organ to suit yourself 